Every student must read this book called Dear. Now slowly you're reading fast to now. Then it will be two words here, two words here, you're going down. Then two words here, two words here. So your eyes getting trained now. A time will come when you read three words here, two words here, two words here. Seven words you'll read vertically down. So when you read a newspaper, you must have the ability to read vertically and not horizontally like that. So this is called rapid reading. So 200 to 250 words rapidly you have to read. So at the end of the day, you must be able to read over 80 to 100 pages, not only your school book, textbooks, about botany, geology, mathematics, history, geography, physics, general knowledge, books on the other disciplines, books on fiction, non-fiction, on philosophy, on, on, on technology, everything you should read in 5th standard, 6th standard, 7th standard, 8th standard. Your whole capacity to read must increase. Every student must have a virtual library in his place. You don't have to buy books yourself. Your library is so good. Therefore, rapid reading is the first essence. Every child must be able to read 200, 250 words per minute. Then, the next issue is having read so much, nanu, nannas, buddhi, walaga, hang, manaswala, hang, it go away, kadana. Ilikan marth vidhti nanu yalla. He won't go nanu. But by evening, I forget everything. So there is another book that I will request the principal sir to kindly buy. It's called Memorex. That trains your mind how to store knowledge, how to memorize. It's not 2 into 2 is equal to 4, 2 into 6, 3 is equal to 6, 2 4 is equal to 8, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. That is by hearting. It's like parrot. But this Memorex will train you how to store knowledge in your mind. Because you're reading voluminous documents, voluminous number of books. So when you read all that, your mind will be trained to store that knowledge so that you can bring out this knowledge at the time of your choosing. So two things I've told you. You must be able to read fast. You must be able to quantify your and validate your reading. And then you must be able to store it here. Two things are very important. But remember, all this can happen if your mind is central. If the focus is there, the concentration. Now, I want every child to be seated here to know that God has given you a power. That power has to be kindled by yourself. So you must remain focused. You must remain concentrated. If you're playing games, do only games. Focus on games. If you're swimming, only swim and nothing else. If you're studying, only study and nothing else. If you're with nature, only be with nature. If you're worshipping, be only with God. Because in human life, there are always pulls and pressures. There are distractions. You will be pulled away by something. And those distractions are like you have now. Slowly see, in the last seven, eight minutes, you have started slouching. Your spinal cord has gone down. You see, the pressure of your mind must remain focused. That I will sit straight up all the time. I will be receptive to what I am hearing. So, Stay away from distractions. You have each boy will have your own distraction. And distractions are in the form of television, distractions are in the form of telephone calls, distractions are in the form of poor quality, baser, instinctive thinking. All kinds of things distract you. But keep yourself absolutely strong like a rock. Like Swami Vivekananda prays and sits on a huge philosophy of a rock. That rock is nothing else. It signifies to you that be strong. Your pedestal must be strong. No force which can pull you apart. You are the greatest human being on this world. You are Swamiji yourself. You are Swamiji. And when you say that I am Swamiji, how can I do a wrong thing? How can I not speak the truth? I will always talk the truth. I will always say what is correct. I will never take anything that does not belong to me. I will always stand for values. I will stand for morality. I will stand for my izzat. My naam, namak, nishan. This is what we have been now say. Naam is your name, your name, your khanna name, your institution name, your country's name. Namak is the salt that you eat. Is the salt that you eat. Without salt you can't live. So naam, namak or nishan. You are here in this institution, there is a nishan for you. There is a symbol, there is a badge for you. So all three put together makes you strong. So when your knowledge keeps on improving, keeps on improving, you will get that power to assimilate. And now let me move to the next theme that I'm saying here. Remember this world is a competitive world. These values, these spiritual contents, 
these aspirations will give you strength now to enlarge your capacity of the knowledge that you get. And you, in the 10th standard, have to prepare for competitive exam. When you come to the 12th standard, you have to prepare for your competitive exam. Because to become an engineer, to become a doctor, to become a journalist, to become a lawyer, to become a, a pilot, to become a military officer, the gates are not open there. All gates are closed. But you have to go through the gate. And that gate is the competitive examination. So I want each one of you to remember that in your life, you have to, especially the students of the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th, the PUC would go to first, 11th, PUC 1 and 2, that you have to target the gates of IIT. You have to target the gates of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. You have to be the best students of not only this institution, the best students of the country. Now let me give you a small example to quote. There was a young boy. His name was Tushar. Is there anybody Tushar in this hall? Any student whose name is Tushar? Okay, there is one Tushar here. Please sit down. Now this boy, keep your back straight. Keep your spinal cord straight. Keep your head straight up. Listen carefully to the story. This boy Tushar was in PUC 1. He was in PUC 1. And as he was studying, he had a goal. He had made a roadmap for himself that I will be number one. I will try to become an engineer. I will like to go to the IIT. If it's possible, I will go abroad to USA and do my engineering. But I have to work hard. So in a cycle of 24 hours, this boy had made a roadmap that I will study and work for 18 hours per day. So he said, I will go to school, do my studies, I'll come home, I'll do my homework, I'll prepare for this, I'll prepare for IIT exam, I will do that. But his parents could not afford so much of money to send him abroad. So when he used to come back from school, he used to go to a hotel and work. Then in the evening he will go for tuition. He will come back quickly from there. At night he will go to a restaurant and work. Newspaper to one day, Yarnura, I bought the newspaper to one, money, 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 go get newspaper Hashtida. PUC first Padaga. PUC second Banda, Ide Madida cycle. Ipatna tas, Padagil Hoge, Hadden Clint, Hatumba Tasso, Abias Madudu, Nokri Madudu, Kelsa Madidu. Same to Shar Boy. And when he sat down for his, there's an exam for IIT entrance test, and there's an exam called SAT, Satantara. Anybody from PUC who knows what is SAT? Loudly, please. Scholastic. Scholastic Aptitude Test. Those of you who whispered, just raise your hand. Scholastic Aptitude Test. Good, thank you. I'm very happy to know that in this institution you're thinking about SAT. So when Tushar appeared for SAT, SAT is an exam where all around the world at the same Greenwich Mean Time, 1.5 million students appear. Within seven days, the results online are coming on the internet. You know when the results came? Tushar stood first in the 1.5 million students. Immediately within 24 hours, he gets a letter, an email from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT in Boston, saying, Tushar, you are given admission to come and join our college. The parents start crying. $50,000 was the fee. So the mother started crying. We can't send the boy. Within four days, another let signal, uh, an email comes which says, Tushar, 98% of the scholarship for TV, bring you 1 lakhs rupai. Tingra bring you 100 rupai ne tumbri. Nimak now air ticket kod TV. You see the Mumbai in the New York barri. New York in the bus in the Boston barri. He goes to Boston. His parents send him from here. Boston vada goge. I'm no naal kurash engineering maadi daga. Naal ku gold medal in Tushar tomana. Nalku gold medal, only placement so like Bill Gates father. Because MIT is the best engineering college of the world. So Bill Gates father, he said, I will take only two students. So he picked up Tushar and one girl from America and Microsoft. Microsoft Tushar, you are a very bright boy, you worked hard. I'm giving you scholarship. Go to New York University and do MBA in finance. 
ಈಗ ಅವನು ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಗೆ ಹೋದ ಅಲ್ಲಿನೂ ಅವನು ಎರಡು ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನೆಯವನು ದುಡ್ಡಿದ್ದಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ಅವನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೊಲ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಪೋರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆ ನಂತರ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವನು ಈಗ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಆನ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಕೆನ್ಸಿ ನೀವು ಮೆಕೆನ್ಸಿ ಕೇಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಅದರ ಒಳಗೆ ಐ ಟಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ತಿಂಗಳ ಮೂವತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಗಳಿಸು ಅಂತ ಹುಡುಗ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಡೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಹುಡುಗ ಅವನು ಅದೇ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಮೊಸರು ಚಟ್ನಿ ತಿಂತಿದ್ದ ಅದೇ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ಅದೇ ರೋಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದ ತನ್ನ ಸಲುವಾಗಿ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನೌಕರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಹಚ್ತಿದ್ದ ಹಿ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ದಟ್ ತುಷಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಕೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಅವನು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಡಿ ನೋ ಹೂ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ ತುಷಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ತುಷಾರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ತುಷಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಸನ್ So what I'm saying to you all is that this loud ovation, this clap that you're giving is not that Tushar Halgali is the son of General Halgali. Please remember, each one of you is Tushar here. I'm giving you a life story to you. I don't tell anything about my children ever. It's a bad thing to praise your own children. But I'm telling you because I want every one of you to know that you are the Tushar in the making. You are the Tushar in the making. because he was structured 24 taas kelsa martida bare 3 taas mokontida he was worshiping he was respecting his teachers he was respecting his institution nimanga bargala adartida avunu avun duddada kis kisada duddidilla avun pencil box on 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 school bag on notebook nodidra he was like a very very ordinary boy but his mind was intellectually far superior he knew how to spend time he knew how to respect people he knew the values of life very honest boy very clean boy so now tell me are you all tushars yes, sir. how many of you are tushars now raise your hand please my god thank you please put your hand down i'm very happy that this small story of this little boy called tushar has triggered in your mind that you are capable of achieving anything in life you are not an ordinary boy you are a boy of great measure you are studying in the best institution of the country an institution that not only trains you for academics an institution that trains you for sports an institution that gives you extra curricular activities an institution that gives you exposure to values beliefs aspirations and moral ethics but an institution that makes you an all round personality it brings and shrines in you the qualities of leadership it enshrines in you the quality of hard work an institution that teaches you what sacrifice is the values that you should have within yourself and yet look for that target and talk so i want every one of you who want to become doctors to work hard and join the medical colleges on in the common entrance test hit the gates of all india institute of medical sciences hit the institute of armed forces medical college pune hit the institute of st john's medical college at bangalore hit the institution of the christian medical college at vellore in ludhiana the best 200 students go there in the world that's what you should be aiming at it's within your reach atushara ek baat nodre hum new ho bodo but hard work no distraction even today this boy tushar halgali my son let me tell you ivattu avan bandra if he were to stand here he would mesmerize an audience he is today at the age of about 29 years of age he is today monday is in france monday night he goes to london tuesday is to germany he flies to united states he goes to brazil the whole five days in the week is flying around the world because there what is doing is is telling how the companies to to automate how the companies to merge how the companies to separate how to manage funds how to bring about greater interaction of so when he talks i as his father today feel humbled i feel humbled because i get tears in my eyes i said look a simple boy like you nimhanga avno so don't ever say nanalinda agudilla negative thoughts must never flow in your mind 
ಯು ಸೇ ನಾನು ಮಾಡೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಐ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಟು ಯು ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಸಮೇಷನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬುಟ್ಟಿ ಆಪ್ಕೆ ಹಾತೋ ಮೇ ಆಪ್ಕೆ ಬುಟ್ಟಿ ಮೇ ಆಪ್ಕೆ ಜಿಂದಗಿ ಹೈ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟನಿ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟನಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟನಿ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಜವಾಹರ್ಲಾಲ್ ನೆಹರು ವಲ್ಲಭಾಯ್ ಪಂತ್ ಯು ನೇಮ್ ಅ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೆ ವಾಸ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಯುವರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೆಸ್ಟನಿ ದೇ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಡೆಸ್ಟನಿ ದಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೆ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿದ್ಯಾಶಾಲ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಮೂವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಶ್ರಮ when you move and talk with each other when you demonstrate your propensity to grow when you make a road map for yourself when you go and ask questions to your teacher to your swami ji you will from today onwards be focused you will be concentrated you will move with an object in mind you will have an aim in mind and only then you will move forward every step that you take must be measured tarazu ke upar rakh kar ke you must move on that step and you must be disciplined remember indiscipline is not acceptable and i as a military officer have always been telling everyone that a human mind that is not disciplined can never succeed in life so discipline standing in straight lines having food on time getting up at the right time remaining cheerful having a disposition of great values and above all respecting nature salutation to your gurus ensuring that all your parents your brothers sisters are always in the high mode of communion with you is what you should be looking at so writing reading becoming good ensuring good values for yourself is the salvation of every boy sitting here do you all agree with what i am saying yes sir do you all agree with what i am saying yes sir that noise is still dheere dheere sanna helthre i want you hear loudly this building was shake do you agree with what i'm saying yes sir yeah that's the spirit that's the spirit now i'm going to take some questions from you so that i'm more pointed in my answers i want to ask a few questions from you and i'll answer them question number 1 anybody please rise yeah come india is developing country india is a developed country all thank you very very important question india was an underdeveloped country for about 40 years of our existence from independence today we have moved up in our platform the strength of our country the fiber of our nation grows from the economic power it goes from our cultural values it grows from our political structure it grows from our military capacity and then when our shadow begins to cast deep beyond the horizon into the international domain we slowly rise from the underdeveloped to the developing world and as the student said we will in the next 10 20 years rise from the developing state to a developed state and i am very confident in the next 20 years probably you will all be at your work stations india will become a superpower one day that is my vision and i'm sure we're going to do it and all the indian boys and girls who are going abroad remember they are not only going abroad to make money never think that they are going abroad for study they are going abroad for experience they are carrying the flag of india abroad there is a weight behind they go and those thoughts those manifestations bring richer knowledge back to india our soil nam bhumi do dharti nam manno becomes stronger and stronger the plants here become greener and greener and eventually this spread of india around the globe will one day as swami vivekananda says will enshrine around the world and india will be known for its intellectual power for its spiritual capacity for its structures and its well meaning so that is the final shape which i look and i'm sure what this boy is saying it will happen next question last question, last question. yes paper up and over very sincerity and the government writing of it why did it even observe why did it get the back step and then it didn't support neighbor uh, better you will have to speak a little slowly say again ask your question again just take it the mic please i i missed your question Uh, 
Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, this whole business of uh, signing of the MacMahon line in 1980 between the British Empire and the Chinese leaders at that time was done under a cloud of a lot of meaning behind it. The great game was on those days and the MacMahon line was drawn. MacMahon line is a line that delineates the erstwhile Tibet, which is today part of China, the boundaries between India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Myanmar. So when this issue was raised about the suzerainty of this Himalayan kingdom, India was then just coming out from independence. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru knew that China was a great friend of India. He believed that these two great civilizations, you must have heard about Fahen, you must have heard about the Qin dynasty, the Ming dynasty, India and China were great friends in the past. He never believed that China will wage a war against India. And therefore, at that time, the framework under which international relations were being carved had in India's perception, the leadership's perception, that this particular structure would bring great benefit to India. And the countries of Nepal and Bhutan were viewed in a spirit that they will remain as the buffer states between China and India. We wanted a buffer between China and India. And therefore, India went on to ensure the predominance of these buffer regions so that when China attacks India, there is a buffer to manage, a time horizon to give us warning, and above all, create that space between India. But unfortunately, international relations, world geopolitics keeps changing from year to year, decade to decade. And today, we have found that our entire philosophy requires a relook. But I'm sure this question will trigger great amount of interest. And I can make out from your question that you're all reading. You're all understanding the dynamics of international geopolitics. And that is what you should all be doing. But let me assure you that India will handle this issue of Nepal, of Bhutan, and all our neighborhood in a very strategic manner. And our aspirations to grow will continue. So gentlemen, my little boys, I wish to thank you all. With just two questions, I can make out that you are intellectually stimulated. You are right-thinking students. Each one of you will become Tushars. Each one of you will become a very, very brilliant boy in your class. And I wish you good luck. God bless you all, because you are in this very prestigious institution. If I am given a life again, if God gives me life again to be born again, I would like to come back here and become a student like you all. thank the Swamiji, the revered Swamiji, whom I, since a few days that I have been in communication with him, I respect him, I salute him, and today having gone around the entire ashram and met with the monks, I am more than convinced that there is no place, there is no heaven on this earth, if it is here, it is here, here, and here, always and every time. Thank you very much. Dear boys, at the outset, I thank Mukti Dhananji for bringing a man of uh, such caliber, such eminence. Last half an hour, we were transported to a different world altogether. What words of inspiration, what words of wisdom. I was just these thoughts started coming to my mind as sage of great wisdom embodied in a military body. A mighty general addressing you, the cream of human wisdom, the gist he has placed before you. I request you to write down each and every word he has uttered. We are extremely indebted to you, Sri Ramesh Halgiriji, the lifting of the Thank you, Lieutenant General Suresh for everything. 
in one words, the whole institution with all monks, staff members are greatly indebted to, to you for your the inspirational presence, inspirational talk, inspirational gesture, which I am sure will linger lifelong and guide our children. I want all the boys who have got the book, My Search for Great Idea. You have been given a diary, My Search for Great Idea. This is an assignment for you, which I myself would like to check personally. And whatever you are able to recall today, sometime, snatch out some time, and sit and write whatever you can recall, recapitulate what General has said, Just write away, and please submit it to the principal. Today, uh, tomorrow, try to find out how many sentences you are able to recall and exactly write it down. And uh, it is not uh, as a compulsion, but we do not want you to miss this glorious moments. It should be properly etched in your memory and you have to guide you in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.